So this is 10005 Spanish Cherry. It is located in o, uh, Live Oaks. It is uh, on a cul-de-sac. Let's give you a little panoramic view. You see the neighbor has a PVC fence right next door. Um, you see the driveway has uh, pavers all the way up to the walkway. So inside the house, they did uh, tile in the wet area. So there's tile in the foyer, kitchen and bathrooms. The rest of it is carpet. Uh, it's kind of an open floor plan that has kind of a living room area here. That's probably a dining room dictated by the chandelier. You can make it what you wish, but that's probably dining, formal dining there, family room here off the kitchen. And it does have the stainless steel appliances. It has two uh, caps here for pennant lights if you wanted that. I do see this right here. I'm not sure what that is. This is a pretty new, newish house. So I don't know that that's a, a leak issue or, or whatever it is. It looks like it's been fixed. I don't look like it doesn't look active at all, but something has you know, interrupted the original drywall. I'm just not sure what it is. So if you come around here, you do have your pantry. You have a half bath as for micro countertops. You have storage under the uh, stairway. And then, of course, you have a two-car garage. There's a hot water heater. This is a, a hybrid hot water heater. This is a nice one. It's a really nice one. Uh, one uh, owner that I came across who had one of these hybrids says it was like two grand. I don't know if they're really that expensive. I think you can get a tankless water heater for less. It does have the Rainbird uh, range. This is your uh, irrigation system. So you can you know, set your s sprinkler. If you can figure, figure out how to open it so you can set your sprinkler system. With that, has the various horizon uh, fires. Okay, so let's check out the upstairs. Okay, electric stove. I'm not sure if this community has gas. Let's maybe see the water pressure and some of the features. Let me show you the backyard real quick while we're down here. Completely fenced in. It looks like it. Although all the way to the left, it looks like it might end a little short. It seems like it's missing a panel. You have a small screened in lanai, but with this, you can get a breeze into the house. You can always, of course, uh, add a cage and extend on. Um, and yeah, this, this, uh, looks like this property is benefiting from everyone else's PVC fence. Looks like the one here is for the left, person to the left. This one's for the person to the right. And then the back one, it looks like it's, uh, the community. So I think you need about two more panels, one on each side, and you'd be completely fenced in. Funny. So close, but right now you are still open. And of course you'd have to do this side. And this side, so. No trees hanging over the house, so you don't have to worry about that. Pretty good sized backyard. You can easily fit 
a pool, or uh, anything else you want to do. Here's the drip line from the air conditioning. Okay, take a quick peek at the upstairs. So far, other than this one spot, everything looks to be in pretty good shape. It doesn't have um, a backsplash. And it doesn't have prior molding. So this house is pretty basic with the exception of the uh, granite uh, countertops. And I'm guessing it's for Micah and the rest of the house. But we'll see. So up here you have a little bit of a loft. You have a room here. Oh wow, this must be the master, it's pretty big. So it is the master. It's your walk-in closet. So they were generous there. You have two sinks, tub, shower, Linen, linen closet. Get the tile that we saw downstairs. You do have the Formica countertops. It's your thermostat. I believe there's just one. I saw one outside, and for a house of this size, probably one's adequate. So you have a bedroom, not a bad size. So we can see the yard from a sky view. So that's the road coming into the back of the community. There's another road going out the front. When I say the back, it takes you out to like Cross Creek as opposed to Bruce B. Downs. There is a laundry room here. So it looks like this stays. This I'm assuming is to the AC room. Not much of a room, <laughs> but the AC anyway. And then we have a room here. Carpet looks really good. Um, I mean, it has life to it. Some people don't like carpet, but it has life left if you want carpet. So you have a bathroom here. It is a full bath, shower tub. For Micah. So they really just upgraded the kitchen. Sometimes uh, when people uh, buy homes, they get builder's money and they put it into one thing like the kitchen and then everything else goes to, you know, just basic. So. Kind of what it looks like, because there's a lot of carpet and a lot of formica, but it, it's in good condition, the house, except for that one spot. Now, I'm trying to think of where that one spot is, just trying to think of the logic of it. It's possible that spot was right around here, and it might be something related to this uh, bathroom. So... It looks, I mean, it definitely has been fixed, but I'd be curious to see what exactly caused it. Um, I had another client who had that problem, and it was something to do with the faucet. It was not the shower, but more so the faucet. So, but it seems to be pretty much right in line with that bathroom that we were just in. But, all right, well, this concludes my, uh, my video for this house.